Hello there and welcome back to Null Recall. Today we are playing episode 4, which is called Cold Shoulder. I can't wait to see what it is about, but it's uh, been really, really a while since I played the last episode and my memory is really not the greatest. So I might uh, not remember some characters, uh, specifically names, so that's... I apologize about before we even start. Anyway, let's choose our character, the favorite one of mine, and start the game. Whoa. Damn. I really like the music here. Hey, I, I do recognize this girl. She's she's one of the um, uh, agents, right? Right. So, okay, I guess this is another crime scene. <laughs> I see something there. Eh. Boo. Boo who? I mean, why are you, Co Courtney, right, Courtney Nguyen, I think when she was introduced first, I think it was in the previous episode, I really like her, she's cute. U29 dots. What's U29? That's your name? Uh, is that just a skull or is it a skeleton there i wonder hmm. i wonder how she waits us for so long well she's crazy you know <laughs> they, they can do that uh do you think she has an accomplice who do you ask you 29 <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess she did. I guess I'll go adopt a dog today. What? I have no opinion on the situation. Wait, what? What? It talks! The fuck? <laughs> Do you think Dr. Thomas is still alive? I don't care. What do you care about? Nothing. Is this just her imagination of this thing answering, or I'm I'm confused? How can what is going on? I wonder what kind of dog I should get. I'm not afraid of dogs, but you are a bone, so you should be. <laughs> What's the point of having a spirit if you can't talk to them? I'm not a spirit. Yeah, it's literally a skeleton. Or a skull, because I don't know. <laughs> what are you then? What are you then? I am Null. <gasps> the game is called Null, Null Recall. To be honest, I don't know what it means. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You are dull too. <laughs> My wall has more per personality than you. Then go nag your wall. Eh? Ooh. Is, is, is the girl also crazy? I wonder. Hey, that's me! Good morning, me. I hate mornings. Can I go back to sleep, please? Uh, I, hate my, I, hate, I hate my life. Actually, uh, sometimes I actually really forget to check the phone. But that's something you should do whenever the next day starts, I guess. Hey, what is this? Mental illness is on the rise. Hmm. How many uncaught serial killers are in the mirror? Uh, I bet a lot. Uh, the power of love. Single. Taken. <laughs> Funny. 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 
funny. <laughs> I'm actually offended. <laughs> okay. Mental illness. Uh, you know what? You know what? I haven't been wearing makeup when I was uh, single. Finally, I started using makeup lately. I don't know why. Mental illness is on the rise. Only truth. Jack Berriman. One in four Americans now experience mental illness. A few years ago, it was only one in five. That's actually, it's like 25%. That's damn a lot. Right? Yeah, 25%. I can't, I can count. Can you see? I'm cool. This growth rate is alarming. Some even say the growth is un unnatural and that the government is uh, somehow responsible. That's a very, very short. Uh, and never mind. The great thing about mentally ill people is that you can abuse them and no one will notice. It's very convenient pro per property for dictatorships like America. Wow, the US is not a di dictatorship. The 0.1% have always ruled the world. We have always lived under a dictatorship. Yeah, true, but you know, some countries do live better than s some others. So there's still a difference. The only difference now is that dictators have gotten better at disguising it. Um, I feel like in my country, no one even gives a shit about disguising anything, but somehow people just uh, take this shit <laughs> that's going on around, whatever. Maybe the rate has been increasing because mental illness is contagious. <gasps> that's scary. I don't want to think so. Actually, can it, can it be? <laughs> The mentally ill come from a long line of shamans uh, who used to serve as the vassal spirit warriors. Now that the demons are gone, the shamans uh, no longer have a purpose. This... Uh, this is stupid. <laughs> How many... well, this one's really interesting. How many uncaught serial killers are in the mirror? Like, uh, what... Um, are we talking to the day? Well, I guess. <laughs> and, um, I mean, in overall, through the whole history, <laughs> I guess not. I mean, those who are presumably alive, right? Okay, I'd say... <sighs> Answer 2000, it's even more than I guessed. That's damn scary. Well, I'm, I bet the numbers are high in around the world. So one in 150k people are serial killers. The average city has around 50k people. That's like one serial killer for every three cities. Not that bad when you think about it like this, but I don't know. Every year, 600k people go missing in America. If 1% to 2% of that is due to murder, then serial killers kill 6k to 12k people every year. I, to be honest, well, missing people... It, uh, I don't know about serial killers, but there probably way more percentage from just kill killings and murders and and um, something that leads to murder. Two thousand more reasons not to be a woman. Yeah, true. I mean, uh, serial killers sometimes do kill men. But for some reason, they usually choose women. I guess it's be mostly based on assumption that women are 
uh, weaker. Uh, it's easier, right? Crimea River. Men are five more likely to die from homicide. I've heard something like this. Is this true? Because I don't know. Every time I hear stories about uh, murder, it's usually about a woman. Uh, talk is cheap. That's why people love bitching about how hard they, their life is. No one wants to improve themselves because that would take effort. This, I think you mistaken the the um, article or something. That this comment is not it's not suitable. And you know what? You know what? Mary looks. I really like her. She. Well, I guess they try to tell you that that what she looks fat. But maybe it's just the the uh, the oval of her face is different, the shape of her face, and I like it more. I think just because she looks like me. Okay. <laughs> Adrian. Oh hi. <laughs> Adrian Morrison, environment artist. What's that? What's that? <laughs> What do you do? My hobby is making junk food, donuts, french fries, ice cream, cake, pudding, pizza, etc. If this is your hobby, then I'm gonna marry you. <laughs> I also work out regularly about 30 to 40 minutes a day, every day. I believe to enjoy a life is uh, to its full potential. You have to live on the edge. The best way to achieve that is to do opposite activities so they balance out like junk food and exercise. Uh -huh. But you basically do the same thing uh, every day. So, you know, it's kind of boring. To, um, how can a mat eat so much and stay so fit? Adrian has an affection, uh, infectious personality. He can't help but join in on whatever he's doing. Uh, he's not just an amazing artist, but also caring. Every Friday he would insist we go walk at the park. For some reason it may made even mundane talks feel magical. Yeah, well. I, I presumed already that these <laughs> reviews on dating websites, is that a thing? I mean, I've only been registered on dating site when I was probably around 14. And well, it, it's obviously it was Russian because I'm Russian and I've never seen anything like this. It, it's, and would you give five stars to someone who you dated, but y y you guys did um, go apart, so I don't know. Usually it doesn't leave a good impression when people just, yeah, it's bizarre to me. And who do we have here? Kara uh, you? Kara me? <laughs> Software engineer. Wait, how, how old is he? 30? She's 25. Uh, how old uh, am I? Wow, three... See? Finally something real. She didn't buy reviews. <laughs> I hate being single. Sure, I can have fun alone, but it's so much better when I share it with someone else. So you just need someone so you don't feel alone, that's all? That's... Um, Shallow? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't want anyone beside me if that person wasn't special to me. Most of my friends are in relationships, so expect a lot of couple games. I also love watching new movies and analyzing it the next day. Why next day if you can just analyze it the day you watched it? <clears throat> anyway, Kara's friends are really competitive when it comes to couple games. I feel like a gladiator fighting to the death. <laughs> Wasn't that bad that you gave her three stars for this? Wow. 
wait, Daniel Connors? Ah, uh, Adrian, sorry. You see, I have a horrible memory. <laughs> I thought it was this, the dude. Most of our friends are engineers. It can be intimidating and feel cold at first, but everyone eventually warms up to you. So your friends is your problem, girl. <laughs> You may stay alone. I don't know. I would probably choose her if she was nicer, but I don't really like the way she thinks about relationships. She just need, needs someone, and I, do, I don't see how it works. Like, being alone is also cool. You can do whatever you want, and you can just wear shitty clothes around the, the house you you can even just be naked eat stuff you want uh, <sighs> never mind let's message this dude I have this theory on how to find so oh share with me <laughs> well actually I don't need this I'd like to know what you think about it Sure. Well, I mean, I'm curious. Like, he has a theory. I wish I knew earlier. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, let's... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I still have some cup. Uh, let's hear it. Uh, a basic partner needs three qu qualities. Basic. Okay, when, when you... Like, uh, I don't know. We're talking about a person here, and you you try to dis dissect person's qualities and see if they uh, suit you. There's something wrong about this. An educated person has the skills to fix any problems, so they are dependable. Um, also questionable, educated person doesn't have skills necessarily. I mean, educated no means it has knowledge, but not the skill. It's a uh, skill, it's when you do thing over and over again, that's how you get the skill. Uh, yeah. So fixing any problem, it's and any problem, <laughs> that's quite stretched. Any problem, re no one can solve any problem. An honest person is trustworthy. Yeah, but how do you know if one person is honest? Only time will, will tell. And an independent person is mature and stable. Funny? If, yeah, funny. <laughs> the face is pretty important. <laughs> I mean, um, the first impression, well, I guess it's still true. Like, uh, you, there, you just has to, you know, you, that first feeling when you see someone. Haha, <laughs> that's obvious, so I excluded it. Oh. Well, you still should mention it. Here's the crazy part. Okay. A soulmate needs those qualities and... Crap, I forgot. <laughs> he's just... He's just playing games with me. Annoyed. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's play along. The key to being a soulmate is forgetting to crap. <laughs> oh. Good one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> I'll message you once I remember. Really? Really? Did he just uh, drop me or something? Okay. Ah, I forgot I can actually message everyone, right? Let's message the girl too, anyway. Like, I don't have standards. What kind of games do you play with your couple friends? 
Probably some board games? Usually word and drawing games. That's cool! For instance, if everyone gave their bedroom a nickname, what would yours be? A nickname for my bedroom? The fuck? <laughs> Whoever has the funniest answer wins. Dirty joke? I mean, we just met. <laughs> uh, four walls that cost one K dollars per month. Is this really funny? I'm <laughs> pretty good. How about this one? If you would, uh, if you had a guardian angel, what would they protect you from? <laughs> YouTube movies, porn. You know what? You know what? Sometimes I do spend too much time on YouTube. When I start l watching these small, short videos, and you see there's there's a um, recommendation tab on on the right, like related videos or whatever. I can spend hours watching that. Even when I like, I think, oh, I'm gonna go to bed and uh, just watch this small video. It's short, right? Like it doesn't. It's not gonna hurt and it's 3 a.m. and I don't know how I ended up watching a video about some uh, I don't know huge zit go being exploded <laughs> anyway well, I, I mean I know I'm not the only one lots of people complain about that online but yeah I mean I love movies so no one has to protect me from this and i don't have problem with this so yeah youtube comments they say who's watching this in current year ah, <laughs> that's also s fucking stupid haha <laughs> i think we'll get along a lot hey she only asked me questions i would like to ask her questions too Keyboard shortcuts. Oh, we have settings in here. That's cool. Okay. I really love music here. Oh. I'm not gonna remember them, so. Can I reassign them? Well, I'm. Okay. I'm not gonna mess with this back okay it's been it's been nice i spent like 20 minutes now i have to really really hurry to my job or else my boss will uh, fire me <laughs> story of my life <gasps> kitty kitty why do you look like sonic but white uh, hi, I have an appointment with Alex and Roxy. Uh, Roxy is that cool looking girl, I think. Um, hey, I don't know you. Are you my boss? Ariel Fitch? Agent Courtney? You are with the FBI, right? Uh, okay, I guess not. Is this... You girl in the case? Uh, please just call me Courtney. Of course. So Roxy is uh, taking a personal vacation and Alex isn't here yet. Wait, I'm confused. Uh... Wait, are we part of the police and this wo this Courtney is FBI? I just thought we are all FBI. I, I forgot things, okay? <coughs> Don't scream at me. Do you know when uh, he will be here? He's usually here by now. I guess he's just busy with the dating app also. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do now? If you haven't had breakfast yet, we have a kitchen you can go to. Thank you. Oh, hey. Did you find anything useful with anonymous calls? Um, that's me, not a cat. <laughs> it's, 
A caller claimed they saw someone who looked like Beth, but with black hair. Well, she could dye it or wear a wig. Really? Where? Uh, here's the address. Uh, thank you, I'll check it out. Can I go with you? Here's my number. Can you call me when Alex gets in? Sure. So, am I going with her? Kitty. Meow. Pat. Hey, there, little one. Ah, oh, pores. <laughs> Cute cat. His name is Sandy. He's a stray that sometimes hang out, hangs out here. Sometimes I wish I could disappear like a nomad. When does he usually come by? Usually in the morning. Mind if I bring some cat food next time I see him? Of course not. Can I talk to her? Who is she again? Hey, Alex! I still suspect you. Wait, we are playing as him, okay. What is this place? Okay. Huh? Hey! That's the place. Huh? The mic should fit through the wind covers. Mike, what is this place? We've been here in the beginning, and there was hmm, Mike test one two three. Sounds good. Whose room is this? Wait, is this Courtney's room? Are you telling me she's also crazy? Since she is so that bad. So this is Courtney's room. And Alex is trying to uh, put some bugs in her place. Too obvious. Yeah, seems like it. Where should I put the camera? No, not there. Still can't see her keyboard from here. Uh, that's better. Are we leaving? I think. No. Uh, okay. How did I enter her place anyway? Sara's bar. Oh, hi. My friend, I guess. She's here, isn't she? Who? The killer? Maybe you'll loosen up more if I buy you a drink. What? You want a pina colada? In you 29's voice. Why, thank you, Courtney. You're so kind. Oh. It's no big deal, you are my friend after all. I wish I could be confident like you and come out of my shell. Stop it. Hmm. He's not a talkative type. I like her imaginative friend. <laughs> That's the type I would have <laughs> if I had one. I think. For a bar, this place is quite dead. <laughs> hey! This looks exactly like the bathroom from the beginning of the whole game. Uh, but there was... Yeah, there was a dead body without a head, I think. How... Interesting. Does my hair look okay? 
I didn't expect her to be able to take out Rose. What if she, what if she can kill me too? Some reassurances would be nice now. You won't even feel it. What? You will die instantly. Probably. Huh. Yeah, thanks for reassuring. Is she... Uh, she knows her more clothes than I think or no? I'm confused. Wait. That's Courtney, right? Okay, yeah, FBI. Hey there! You stop right there. What are you doing there? Hand? <gasps> what the fuck? There is a ghost hand. There is a, some paranormal shit going on. Damn. <gasps> what? Why is there blood? There's blood. There's no blood right now. And she's sitting there. And now there's blood. I'm confused. As hell. Okay. Hi. Wasn't I supposed to follow her? Why the hell are we separated? Uh, Donovan O'Neill, congratulations! I hear you are the one who discovered the anonymous call. Um, humble? What do you mean, discovered the an- Alex and I went through them together. He says the he would have ignored it if it weren't for you. The good news is Thomas and his baby are safe. Ah, oh, that's good. I think Agent Courtney said they are being treated at the FBI's own medical ward. That's good to know. Ward? Courtney. Why not send them to a regular hospital? Well, they were attacked by someone dangerous. What if they were were after them? I don't know. She said they have better security. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. In any case, the FBI is taking over the case. Hmm. Why? The captain says an FBI director wanted the case, so the chief gave it to him. Courtney is still here. You can ask her to of de for details if you want. But Okay. Is she still there lying on the floor? <laughs> when she came in here there was no one, but this dude is aware of Courtney's presence. I'm confused. Blood. This wasn't here before. And I'm not gonna comment on it. Okay, that's that's total, uh, totally usual. It happens. Hello? Gilbert Rayleigh? What a nice computer. Who the hell are you? I didn't expect Beth to be so tech savvy. She's really, she really could be a spy. Computer. How much would one of these cost? Maybe she stole it or something. I mean, she's a killer. The FBI took the components out before we, we got here. The monitor desk is at least 5k dollars though. Wow. Monitor. Just for that. Wow. 
So where's Courtney? The lieutenant and I were debating about something earlier. Say you are working on a case involving a dangerous suspect. You would find out a co-worker has a vendetta with the suspect. You give them the, the chance to leave the case, but they refuse. If you report them, they would lose their job. What would you do? Nah. It actually depends what kind of vendetta it is. But I guess I I wouldn't do anything about it. not I'm not a rat. Why would I side with a suspect? And yeah. Exactly. I'm tired of killers and rapists getting away because of some small te technicality. Exactly. Matthew was worried the case would get thrown out if the judge found out. Who cares if a known criminal gets a fair trial? In this case, morality should take priority over blind justice. So you're saying if the case has a clear suspect, then morality should t take over? Yes. And if the suspect is not obvious, then justice should take over. Interesting idea. Whose blood is this? Okay. So what's going on? She's behind... What's going on? Supplies, benzos, try GHB, try olanzapine. What's that? Ah, uh, benzos sedative for anxiety. <gasps> cool. GHB, another sedative. Date rape. Dr oh my. The fuck. Used to treat sh sh schizophrenia, I guess that's how you pronounce it, and bipolar disorder. Bleach, air freshener. Uh, ew. You're going to ignore all my questions then? I can no longer talk about the case until the investigation is over. Why? It's for everyone's safety, including your own. Safe from who? Beth isn't going to attack the police station. I know we cover up when I see one. Neck? What's neck? Beth? What happened to Beth? She escaped before I could subdue her. Yeah, some ghostly hand took you. Don't you think it's bizarre? <laughs> Any evidence you collect must be sent to the FBI. <sighs> Isn't it suspicious? Hey, nice pinky uh, keyboard. Actually, lots of things are pink. I see she likes the color. We get to see uh, places of lots of characters. Fifty Shades? Girl, you don't need to read that shit. <laughs> Happy birthday, Roxy! Don't let the BDSM scare you. It's the Magdis of romance novels. It might even be fun just to try some of those things with Nico. Who knows, it could jump start your relationship. It didn't. I mean, you you can't you can't fix uh, with sex something that's broken. Nah, Leia Wolf. I should visit. Uh, that's who. I wish I had this kind of view at my apartment. Where are you? 
Read in the book with the sound of the ocean in the background sounds really nice right now. But I should check on dad. Okay. Where's my dad? Where am I? Bathroom. Oh my god, I'm take. Take a shit. <laughs> Better not forget. I haven't used a steam shower since I moved out. I don't know why, but there's just something mystical about sitting in the steam. Whoa. Whole room just for girly things? A dream of every girl. <laughs> It was so fun watching makeup tutorials and experimenting with everyone. I wonder what they are doing now. Your who? Friends? This is a huge place. Maybe it's a house of her parents? Oh, interesting. It's intertwined. Cool. I feel like a fraud. I will never know what it is like to be normal. Why do I even try? Everyone can see my fake ass from a mile away. <laughs> Who cares if this uh, bag is not... Uh, is fake like who well I guess there are people who care but this is stupid it's just a thing why waste wow this is huge why waste money on just it's stupid dad damn this place is huge Mom and Dad really love technical books. Unlike you, huh? <laughs> I don't deserve my success. I'd be worthless without my parents. Do I really believe that? Well... At least you acknowledge it. <laughs> Where are the Dad's clothes? Here? <laughs> no? Oh no. Where's the jacket? It's not here. Don't panic. Mom probably has it packed away somewhere. I mean, he's here, so... Right? Everything should be fine. Plastic wrap and car cupboard cardboard? Mom has been ordering a lot of medical supplies for Dad. She's been taking care of him for over a year now. He's only awake for a few hours a day. The doctor said he's going to pass away soon. Huh. Dad, I... This is... Heartbreaking. We will all go away one day, but it's just something you cannot prepare for. I'm sad to see you go, you go, old friend, but uh, you go, old friend. But I understand you want to spend your last moments at home. You seemed so happy ever since Roxy started visiting. I wish I could give you two more time together, Dr. James Poe. I'm glad you are my dad's friend. It's cool that doctor could become a friend. Mom! Whoa, she has some beautiful mom. Seriously, the place is huge. They are very wealthy. 
You're up early today. I couldn't sleep. Is it because of your father? I should have been around to help you take care of him. Well, you can still help. I need these ingredients to make your father's favorite cheesecake. Doesn't he have trouble digesting food? Uh, I thought cheesecake is not that hard to digest, no? He assures me he has one last spoonful left in him. Where are Dad's clothes? He wanted me to donate them. Why? It's nothing. What's wrong? There was a jacket I liked. Which one? The navy blue nylon one. Was there something important on it? No. I just remember the times he had on we ha we had on vacation. This is so embarrassing. And this is like I don't know. It's. Could you just do it later or something? He's still here. It's just Nola. It's just so wrong. Anytime I'd forget my jacket or lose it, he'd let me borrow his. <coughs> Sorry, my chair. And <laughs> and I'd like to know how many times did you lose your jacket? I'm sorry, honey. At least some homeless person is making good use it. of it. It's fine. <sighs> but it's sad. So, it's a kitchen? I thought it was a bathroom. I guess it is bathroom. I mean, she just said about cheesecake, so... So are we living? Eh, I'm really fat. <laughs> I used to hide in this tree waiting for dad to come back from home. Uh, I mean, <laughs> work. Then I jump out and surprise him. This is cute. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. She is really spending a nice time, you see. Going for groceries to buy some fruits and veggies. Nico? Hey, that's my boyfriend! <laughs> I guess it, he was. Roxy? It's good to see you again. Haha, <laughs> you too. I heard about your dad. I'll miss the old man. Thank you. So, what have you been up to? I work as an interior di designer now. Wow, cool. Wow. So, you can help me design my sims house? <laughs> Funny. I remember you being a pretty good designer. But I'm no artist though. But you have the cre creativity of one. <laughs> So, how is your mother doing? She doesn't show it, but I know she's struggling. Can you give this to her? What is it? It's a silver coin my boss gave me for working hard. Your mom definitely deserves it more than me right now. You know, you don't have to suck up to my parents anymore. I like your parents. What are you going to do about it? I should get going. Take care of yourself. You too. Am I going back? I literally just just came from Oh look at them, they're smiling. I hope I'm not gonna interrupt some something. <laughs> Hi
Our girl is finally back. Uh, sorry, I bumped into someone. Oh, uh, really? Who? Uh, Nico. Nico, why did you even ever break up with him? Uh, he's the only boyfriend of yours I actually liked. Uh, well, he did seem like a nice guy. What happened? Can we not talk about this now? Well, your mother and I were just talking about our vacation trips. Which place uh, did you like the most? Las Vegas or San Francisco? Uh, that's easy. San Francisco. We got to visit Lake Tahoe, 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 Napa Valley, and Yos Yosemite. See, I was right. I thought you liked exploring the strip with your friends. Well, I did, in New Vegas. <laughs> Plus, did you get your first kiss there? That's creepy, Dad. <laughs> Mom, you promised you wouldn't tell! <laughs> he is very persuasive. So he did suspect something or what? Uh, and... Seems like I'm quite close with my mom if I told her about this. I was very good with my hands in my prime. Oh my god, I don't need to hear that. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Gross. I didn't need to know. Exactly. It's gross, but it's also... I mean, it's so sweet to see couples still together and kind of happy. And it's heartbreaking when the disease comes in. It's just getting old in general is just... You know, sickness is always a company in old age. And I hate it. I hate thinking about it. I mean... Sickness can come at any age, too, and it's especially sad when something so beautiful can be destroyed. <clears throat> Look at the time. We should start preparing lunch. Is Dad gonna still be up? What is... Is this bad? It's quite a small bed. Or is it a chick? What's going on? How did it go? He doesn't want to talk to me. You are making me do all the work. So useless. Vito Nunes? So many characters. I just I can't remember. And... You're nothing but a tool to us. Once we use you up, we'll dispose of you like the rest of them. Of who? At least I won't have to deal with you anymore. Tell it to someone who cares. Huh. That's... Use me? Am I not a real agent or some... What's going on? Maybe they they are y using me because I'm also crazy like like the girl Beth Beth I think that's her name Beth is her name the blonde girl a lot has changed since you left Why don't you come back You could build a new lab and would have access to an unlimited budget Am I free to leave we can't stop Beth without your help. The government isn't interested in finding a solution. The more time we waste, the more nulls she is going to recall. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> recall. I mean, the game is called Null Recall, we're getting to somewhere here, but I'm still damn confused. <laughs> uh, okay. How am I supposed to help you with that? Why did she want you with you? I think... 
I mean, well, she definitely knows something about this, the paranormal stuff going on. I mean, I guess there is something uh, like that can, uh, involved since we've seen the ghost hand. Unless she's just also crazy and sees things, I don't know. But whatever she said there about recalling Nulls, and she called that ske skeleton head a Null. So, are those like ghosts? Nulls? She summons ghosts? How does she do it? She kills people? <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. Somehow, with how it's confusing, it starts to remind me of a game. Um, I forgot the damn name. It's embarrassing. I think uh, it was mo it's like a sequel to um, Moonlight Syndrome. I think that's how it was called. Uh, I'm yeah. See, my memory is just horrible. A book? Can the null even read? Did I read what he said? Damn it. Perhaps it's in a language they understand. Wait, so nulls are not ghosts, because I'm pretty sure ghosts can read. <laughs> Damn it! You don't end the episode like this! I only started to under- no, actually I don't. So nulls are not ghosts. Are the- uh, are- who are them? And. I think they are someone who only some people can see. I don't know. Why does it? What? Why do they look like skeletons there? And uh, I can't wait. The next episode. I guess it should be the final one. So it's quite sad because I wanted to still linger. <laughs> I really enjoy this game and I mean it just it just gets there don't stop <laughs> all right I guess we'll have to wait a little bit longer for the final episode to come out so yeah stay tuned thank you very much for watching have a great day and see you next time bye <laughs>